Hi, I'm attorney Michael Kelly from Kelly & Kelly PC in Northville. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you about the state of drunk driving laws in Michigan and what you need to know if you're facing or know somebody who's facing a DUI or alcohol related traffic offense, accident, or other criminal matter that is bringing you into the Mich Michigan district or circuit courts. First thing you need to know is that these are serious. It doesn't matter the amount of alcohol involved. It doesn't matter the explanation as to how it got into your system. What you need to know is that you are responsible for the choices that you make. And if you're deciding to drink and have a drive later, well, then you also have to be prepared for having some form of contact with law enforcement. What that looks like could be a range of things. Um, right now we talk about the phantom lane strikes. What's a lane strike? This is getting out of one lane and trying to get into another. Trying to drive a perfectly straight vector down the road? Well, I thought the court said you couldn't drive perfectly straight and officers can't stop you for veering off slightly. That's not the case because they're gonna use as many of these breadcrumbs to make a cookie that's enough for them to stop and detain you for. And even if they just see something that's relatively minor, like a lane strike, like not using your signal, not stopping completely at a stop sign or rolling past the white line at a traffic stop, well, this gives them the opportunity to then extend that inquiry and begin a conversation with you at your roadside. This is what we call the personal contact phase of a drunk driving investigation. What the officer is looking for here is how you sound, how you smell, and what other incriminating information can be provided, such as were you able to provide your identification, registration, proof of insurance? Were you fumbling? Were you slow to move, those, move to get those things? Did you activate your emergency lights properly when you were stopped on the side of the road? Did you pull into a parking spot properly? How do you get out of the car? And certainly, you're going to be asked to get out of the car. Because if you've been drinking or using drugs, and especially with the state of regulated marijuana in Michigan, Officers are looking for drivers who are operating under the influence. And any indication that somebody has a statement that you've come from a bar, or that you had been drinking, or that you consumed anything, or even just the smell alone, is going to prompt that officer to ask you politely, why don't you go ahead and step out of the car here for me? So, looking back at DUIs in Michigan from getting in the vehicle, having that first contact with the officer, that personal contact, having the, uh, the request made that you step out of your vehicle and we move to the uh, testing phase to confirm or flush out the, the presence of intoxicant, intoxicants in the person, following to the arrest and the subsequent chemical test that's requested at the police station. These are the progressive steps that a police officer knows are going to happen in every single drunk driving investigation. Unfortunately, as a layperson, you have no idea where that first conversation is going to lead to. And the officer will always try to indicate that your cooperation is in your benefit. However, that's at a severe disadvantage to you. He knows where it's going and you don't. Listen to this video, explore the research and content we provide and get yourself educated. And if you are making a decision to go out and have a drink, appreciate the risk that's invited with that. And if you do have trouble and are stopped by a police officer in Michigan for an offense like this, don't wait another second. Call a reputable lawyer, call Kelly, and get your case off on the right foot.